Here's the noon update for June 6, 2012. On the S&P 30-day uh, one-minute chart, yesterday I said this was a 3, 4, 5 down, and within the, within the fifth wave down, there was five waves. And um, instead of forming a fifth wave down, which I wanted, it actually truncated and then rallied. But um, you can say that I called another bottom, but um, I'll be more uh, I'd be more, be more um, convinced if it took out 1335 or the top of the four. And we broke 0.618, which is we're actually right in 0.618 at 1308. And if uh, we break 1308, there's a shot at a 1335 in the S&P for Nasdaq. I have the same scenario. We have three, four, five down, five ways down within the fifth wave complete, and then a rally. And the rally we're getting is pretty strong right now. And um, for NASDAQ, uh, 28.25 was 0.618, and we broke that. And next level of resistance is around 28.45, or 20.42, which is around 0.786. If we can break 28.42, there's a shot at uh, 28.83, or the top of the four, minim minimum if you break uh, 28.42. <clears throat> For NDX, I have the same pattern again. Three, four, five, five waves down within the fifth wave complete. And the NDX uh, is uh, right, up, right near 0.786, around 2540. If we can break 2540, there's a shot at a 2570, or at least a 100% retracement of the fifth wave down. And for the Dow, uh, if we can break 12,470, it has a shot at around 12,610, and right near 0.618 at around 12,350. So, if you can close above 12,350, there's a shot at 12,470, and after that, at 12,600 or the 100% 100% retracement. Um, people are saying that I called another bottom, but yeah, maybe I did call another bottom, and because um, I actually right when I sent that email out yesterday, I was like five of five of five down. I'm gonna buy here. I didn't buy though. That's the thing. If, if I bought, then it would have been a lot better. But still, um, it was kind of a bottom call. That's a wrap.